Hey guys, it's Bob Powers, and you may have seen in a previous video, I'll show a link below where I took these exact shoes here and the um, brown part here. Um, first of all, I believe this is called burnishing. It's also referred to as patina. My understanding is patina is a general word that refers to a change in color. Um, this is usually referred to on natural materials such as wood, um, you know, leather, or metal, where the color and tone will change and vary over time, giving it a very beautiful natural look. Uh, but I believe this is called burnishing, where you have a darker area on one part of a shoe. So, but anyway, this was painted on from the factory and you could scratch it off, it flaked off. And I put it back on these shoes using Phoebing's leather dye, diluted, okay, and airbrushed on. So today I'm going to do something similar with another pair of uh, older shoes I have. And these are a pair of, uh, you know, old Bostonian shoes. They're really not my favorite shoes, to be honest with you. And um, I'll put a photo here of what they looked like before I stripped the surface, you know, the wax and everything off. I don't like the color. At one point I put brown shoe polish on them when these should have had tan and it darkened them. And I just don't like the color of brown that they've become. Um, so I'd like to strip the brown off as much as I can, start over, and maybe even put some burnishing on them to kind of make them a two-tone. And just to, you know, maybe see if I can get myself excited about these shoes again and make them look better. So let's see what we can do. And this is after having used Saphir Renault Matte to strip off all the old wax. There's a lot of built-up wax on them. Um, then I also actually used a little bit of brake parts cleaner. You know, this is like, a, you know, an alcohol. This is, you know, not good for leather, okay? So this is not a treatment. This is just a one-time thing to try and strip everything off of the shoe that I could. So now it's down to, you know, mostly the, you know, I guess the original surface leather of the shoe. So now we're going to see what happens. And I'm going to try to put some... Uh, you know, color and burnishing back on the front of the toe that'll help cover up some of the, see some nicks and scratches here. It'll help start to cover up some of those things and just maybe give a new lease. Uh, I'm gonna probably do it on the back of the shoe. Then around the front, we'll see how it looks and see what we come up with, okay? So I'm gonna get the uh, air compressor fired up. So uh, same as before uh, in my other video, I am using Phoebing's leather dye. This is a medium brown color and it is reduced. This time I'm reducing it about two to one. Okay, so now I've got the Shoes masked off on the back and the front, and I'm ready to uh, start putting some color on them. Keep your fingers crossed this uh, compressor is old. Okay. Right. And we've got to get this uh, adjusted. This valve, you start with it closed, and you just start gradually opening it. There we go.
great. <laughs> I'm certainly not a professional at this, okay? So I am an amateur and I'm not doing this for an income. Um, just doing this for fun. So, um, all right, I'm gonna let that dry uh, for a few hours and then polish them up and I'll come back. And here they are finished up. Uh, the first coat, what I did was actually, I did two coats of the Sapphire. Uh, this is called the Medal Dior. This is a soft paste wax with um, a lot of pigment in it. So that was uh, actually two coats of that. And then on the toe areas, I actually used, again, Sapphire Paste Wax, Medal Dior, uh, the black, okay? Uh, the first coat that I did, the color here, is actually called uh, Light Brown, number three, okay? And then on, basically, from right about here forward, on the toes, I used the um, Sapphire Pate Deluxe. This is a neutral, okay? did not come out too bad. So definitely breathed new life into an old pair of shoes. The color um, change on the toe you can see is pretty subtle. It's not a drastic, you know, color change. And not even really sure that it's visible. I'll say this, the lightest part, once I stripped the, the shoes down, the toes and heels were lighter. So I guess considering the fact that this part was lighter than the rest of the shoe, now it's darker. Even though this part is not a lot darker than the vamp, um, I think if I had not done that, it would look a lot worse. So anyway, I hope you liked that. I hope that helped. I'll see you guys later.